ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Moore, Verstappen and Charles Leclerc. Well, that wrap... Who would you say is your biggest rival at the moment? Great qualifying session. Are you feeling safer ahead of the pack? Did you feel that things went well for you today? What was the secret ingredient for your performance today? Appreciate your time. Here we go then. It's time to race in Mexico City, a place which gave Honda their first ever victory back in 1965. American Richie Ginther won from third on the grid. And what are the Honda powered cars this year? Well, Red Bull have been going strong here in recent seasons, so can they keep that record going today? At 2,285 meters above sea level, the thin air of the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez poses a unique challenge, not just to a driver's skill, but to the efficiency of their engines as well. 17 corners make up a lap of this 2.6 mile circuit, and you can expect incredible speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, and overtaking two into the hard braking zones of turns one and turn four. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now, can I talk to you about Pierre Gasly? As ever, the threat of unreliability is never far away, and indeed, they'll be starting out of position today due to a power unit component change. So it's gonna be a difficult task to move forward from there. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be, it's about effective damage limitation. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Moore lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Lando Norris and Perez, Ricardo, Bottas, Russell and Sebastian Vettel, Stroll, Matsushita, Esteban Ocon and Giovinazzi, Joe, Sonoda, Pierre Gasly and Nicholas Latifi, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Stappen has just put up the fastest lap of the race so far.
We're leading our teammate by 2.1 seconds. Go now. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. condition is still looking good. on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. We're leading our teammate by 19.6 seconds.
guys, yes! Come on, boys! Great drive. We did it. Good job. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint over a race distance, so being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Moore increases their championship lead. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Well, you've put me in a bit of a tight spot today, but I think I'll go for Pierre Gasly. He kept a cool head under pressure and made the most of some difficult circumstances. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull. After a long and hard fought season, they built an astonishing car this year and the glory they'll be taking back to Milton Keynes is fully deserved. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One.
fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Things are looking up after last week, aren't they? Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. That was an epic battle today. How do you think this will play out? It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Appreciate your time. <laughs>